That's right, I'm Duke, your video host, and welcome to the world of RV luxury here on Duke's RV. We're going to take a look at the uh, Montana 3791RD. It's a luxury fifth wheel. You can see from over here, it has one, two, three air conditioners. It has the WineGuard Air 360. That's digital TV, Wi-Fi, and FM reception. That is one of the two 200 watt solar panels. It also has a solar charge controller and an inverter. I'll talk about that in a little bit. And uh, you can see it's got three slides on this side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the specs, the specifications. Hope you're doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. Enjoying this beautiful weather out here on the freeway. A little loud, but you know, we'll, we'll get past that. So uh, this has the unloaded vehicle weight at 14,420 pounds. Gross vehicle weight on this one is uh, 16,600. So that's over a ton of cargo carrying capacity. There is your electronic leveling system right there where you can see the kingpin. So that's conveniently located. Here is one of the 230 pound propane tanks. You know what that looks like. Let's see if we can open this. Not with one hand, gotta use two hands. No problem, I got two hands. All right, that's a big pass-through storage area. Keep my fingers out of the camera. And there is your dedicated wet bay with all your water connections, your uh, key TV with integrate satellite and TV, the hot and cold shower, low point drains, the fresh water, city water, tank flush, all that stuff right there. That pink stuff down there is some winterizing fluid. And that is a 2,000 watt inverter. 30 amp solar charge controller. That's why the lights are on right now. See the lights are on in here? There's no battery. This one is running on solar power. I, you know, this is something that all RVs, every RV you look at, is going to have a solar this good. So you just got to wait till about 2025 for the rest of the industry to catch up with Keystone. They're way ahead. This is state of the art. I don't want to get all technical. I'm just, trust me, it's better. You can check it. It's called the Solar Flex 400. It's got an inverter. It's got a, an app. You can keep track of it on your phone. Oh, look at all this storage in here, man. This is huge. Okay, we're on the freeway. It's a little bit loud out here, but this one has this Moride tray. It slides all the way out. 800 pounds of capacity so you got a lot of storage back here you can see it all and there you have access I'm trying to get out of this noise there's access over there we're going to go on inside because it's loud we'll look at the inside some rv wonderment on the inside today there's a solar flex 400i it means it has an inverter 3791 rd rd stands for rear again a little quieter in here and it is beautiful very nice look at that hey you could live here you could hang out here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, share with you my contact information I'm Duke your video host and that's how you get a hold of me I'll show that again so we're in the kitchen let's go ahead and take a panoramic view of that see that large pantry I'll open it up for your residential fridge all kinds of space that beautiful alcove there the slide out with that synthetic floor there's two more chairs but that's your dinette breakfast area your office out on the road place for your coffee pot air fryer george foreman grill and check it out look at that the light comes on automatically that's nice you want to see inside the fridge why not this is the fridge that's what it looks like in there. It looks like a fridge, but it's nice. It's like a residential fridge. And the reason it looks like that is because it is like that. It's a residential fridge. There's your ice maker, the tray where you can keep your culinary ingredients for your uh, Epicurean masterpieces that you're going to be creating in your uh, expedition into the RV lifestyle. So this synthetic floor will not absorb water. Your little poodle or your boxer whatever is not going to be attracted to that check it out thomas edison we did a good job with your light bulbs here so this is the kitchen it's got a little hutch right here coffee bar area looks a little dark there let's see if there's a light all right we turn on solar power thank you to the sun don't fly too close to the sun though 
All right, we're in the front living section here. Oh, no, we're not. It's the rear den, the RD. I think I almost fooled myself. So you have the theater seats, the captain's chairs, recliners. You will be in charge in the command position. Triple wide sofas, not double wide. That's a bigger sofa. There's one on each side, so they're going to make into a bigger bed. This will work as a guest bedroom. And while it's working as a guest bedroom, they'll have a curtain right here they can deploy for privacy. Got that JBL sound system right there. And what comes with that? Let's see. A JBL subwoofer. You can pump up the bass. All right. Put on some M&M. And you can uh, check out the, the tunes, some Barbara Streisand, whatever you like. Whatever you're... Wayne Newton, you like Wayne Newton? Crank him up. Some Perry Como, Amy Winehouse, whatever it is, Frank Zappa. I don't care, man. Merle Haggard. I like Merle Haggard. I like Johnny Cash. I can listen to it all. It's good stuff, man. I'm happy to be alive. Hope you are, too. Yes, so this is the front living section. The rear den section, I'm sorry. I almost fooled myself again. That's a residential filter. And it's got a residential style air conditioner in here. It's ducted. It's quiet. It's a the Blade AC system patented by Keystone will evenly distribute the air and do it quietly. It doesn't have to be loud. It doesn't have to be bright either. Check it out. You've got these shades here. The valances. It blacks everything out complete privacy if somebody's walking out let's just say you want to you have a screen also that's what you find in luxury rvs little extras like that like this usb connection right there so you can charge it up those are massage this has vibrating uh, massage uh, heated seats you're going to be doing great all right just let me have another view here All right, I don't want any comments saying the best part is when I wasn't talking. I know that. All right, here's another view of the kitchen. Two more chairs. Remember, there's extra chairs. This is the Montana by Keystone, number one selling luxury fifth wheel for 22 years in a row. So you don't have to take a chance on some RV that came out last month, last year, year and a half ago. These engineers have been around. There's your vacuum cleaner right there. You've got a little kick feature you can sweep stuff in or hook up a vacuum cleaner hose. There is your uh, fuses and breakers. Hey, check it out. There's a drawer right here. Some pantry space. Let's see. I think I showed you the pantry, but more cabinet space down over here. Over here. Let's see what we got. All right. There's your trash can. That's going to be perfect. And then you have the big uh, stainless steel large sink basin there. That is some winterizing fluid. Keeping everything safe. Now the plumbing on this one's good down to negative 10 degrees. Now it has the two solar panels. We're running on solar right now. Just pure solar. Sunlight is powering us right now. There's not even a battery. So uh, with that 400 watts of efficient solar with that 30 amp MPPT solar charge controller, 2000, pure so 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, it'll keep your fridge going. If you're not plugged in with the 60 pounds of propane, you have your stove, the furnace, the water heater. These accent lights will be on, they're LED. They don't burn up a lot of power. They don't, look at that extra storage down here. There it is. It goes back in there, so you've got some stores there. Nice residential hinges. That's solid. Let's check this out. Check out this drawer. Oh, the soft closed drawers. Almost skipped over it. This rig is rated for full-time use. It's designated by the manufacturer. It is not a... Uh, that's a common fib that gets told in this industry. This is true in this case. They all want to be like the Montana. They'll say they're as good as the Montana. Maybe they are. I don't think so. They're not the number one selling luxury fifth wheel. We're not going around comparing ourselves to any other rigs. This is the one right here. I say we. I didn't build this thing. I'm just here showing it to you. Got a little carried away. Got to stay in my lane. All right, check it out. Plenty of room around the toilet. 
We got a nice Max Air fan, AC vent right here, luxury shower experience. You could sit down. Got a porcelain basin right there. So it's ergonomically friendly. You can sit there and splash water on your face. Won't get on all over the place. Oh, look at that. Some functional space underneath there. Three drawers. I don't know what you have, how much stuff you got, but if you got a lot of stuff in the bathroom, hey, this is the Tri Tri Slide Series shower door. Okay, so I'm having a good time today. I might need to dial it down a little bit. Okay, so here we are in the bedroom. It has a laundry hamper over here. Check it out. You can put your laundry in there. Who left the lights off in here? Nice closet. More closet space here. There's your chairs. That's the rest of your dinette right there. And that's the space for a washer dryer. You have a stackable combo, whatever you want. There's some trays up there for a CPAP machine. So these are inverted outlets by the bed. So you if you're not plugged in, even over the side of the road at a Walmart, wherever, at a cracker barrel, any friendly location out on the road. You still run your CPAP machine if you got good batteries and the solar, all the solar features I went over already. And as you walk in the door, there's a place to hang up your keys, hang up your jacket, your sporty looking windbreaker. All right. Hey, thanks for viewing my video. I'm Duke, your video host. And if you watched all the way to the end, please do click the thumbs up button if you want to subscribe. I've got about 400 videos. I don't know. It's a bunch of them on there. All these different RVs. You'll see them as they come out. You'll see them on your screen. They'll flash in front of your eyes as you peruse the uh, YouTube feed. And uh, if you have a comment, just say hello. Say hello. Let me know you watch the video. It'll help me out on my channel. I don't know why everybody says that, but I think it's true. You got the Televator TV. This screen is deployed right now. Let's go ahead and let it up. See back here, they are doing some work, some progress. Little animals are not happy about that, I'm sure. Taking away there. But hey, it works. There's pros and cons. I'm sorry I got off on that tangent there. Let's take it. We don't want to hear sad stories about the poor little animals. Hopefully they got more places to be displaced to. There's some more fields right adjacent to that. So they got a place to go. Appreciate your concern for the... Uh, Possums, raccoons, even the rats. You know, I didn't realize that they said rats, they came from England. They came away as stowaways on ships. We didn't used to have rats here. Thank you, England. Thank you for bringing all the rats over here. And now they're a part of our ecosystem. So, just let me have another look at it see I think this is the bathroom that's the narration this here is the bedroom hey thanks for viewing my video I think I'm going a little bit long but who cares this is America it's a free country I got to stay within the rules of YouTube and there's my contact information if you shopping for an RV if you just have general questions just put them in the comments below there is the uh, flush uh, slide right there so uh, you're not going to stub your toe. That's the advantage of that. You've got these little things here with the USB and 110 connection. You can just put those down if you want them out of the way. Hey, and if you're inside of an RV, is it we're as good as a Montana? Flip this thing up right here. Is it wrapped? Is that entire slide slide box wrapped all the way around underneath? Well, this one is. They make them right. They have meetings about this. Save a couple of cents here, a couple of dollars there. These other manufacturers. Keystone wants this. They have meetings about being number one. They want to be number one for 23, 24, 25 years straight. Because the ones we sell today, those might be repeat customers four or five years down the road. They're in it for the long haul. They got technicians that have, the people working in the factory, been there over. Have to sell the crew over there has been there for over 10 years engineers have been there a long time so when they run into an issue they take care of it it's not a new model all right sorry about that thank you i went a little long but i